But let me pray for somebody who needs to be saved. Then I'm coming to pray for miracles for everybody. Is that okay? Let me pray for somebody who needs Jesus right now. I'm going to pray for miracles in a minute for every one of us. Because I believe today is the day of miracles. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you want to be saved. You need to come into the family of God. You need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. You need to be born again. To be born again means to make God your Father. And this new life, a new life is going to be given to you. A new nature is going to be given unto you. You're going to have the nature of God that we're talking about. This stone nature of God. Not the stony hearted, you know, in a negative way, but the stony hearted that is devoted to God. Yeah. You know, some people have stony hearted, heartedness that they don't respond to God. But we're talking about the stone that is committed to God but doesn't shift from God. That's the one that we're talking about because except the Lord build the house, they cannot, the labor and vain that builds it. So just say this simple prayer and I want you to mean it in your heart. That's how you welcome God and Jesus into your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, today I ask you to come into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. Say, Lord, I know I'm a sinner, but I ask you to forgive me my sin. Write my name in the book of life. Give me a new beginning. Say, thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Today, I become yours. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you said that prayer, congratulations. It means you just got born again. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Let me pray for you. Father, Lord, I pray for this person who has just made this decision, who has given his heart to the Lord. I pray that this person's sins are forgiven. I ask, oh God, that you write this person's name in the book of life. Give this person a new beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Congratulations, my friend, my brother, my sister. You know, wherever you are, I congratulate you. If you gave your heart to the Lord, I rejoice with you. Please let me know you made this decision. You said this simple prayer. I want to send some materials to you that will be a blessing to you. Yes, I want you to please email me. My email address is info at hoffan.org. Info, that's I-N-F-O at H-O-F-F-A-N.org. That's I-N-F-O at H as in holy, O as in omega, F as in faith, F as in faith, A as in alpha, N as in new dot O-R-G. Let me know you said that prayer wherever you are. I want to send some materials to you. And I also want to commit to praying for you by name. Yes, if you look at the top or bottom of this broadcast, you can see that email address. If you are watching on Facebook, you can inbox me on Facebook. If you are watching on FM TV Live, you know, go scroll down. You're going to see that same info uh, email. You can email me. Let me know anywhere you are in the world. I'm going to send some address to you, and I'm going to make sure I pray for you by the grace of God by name every time. And the Lord, you know, uh, gives me the grace to do that. And I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations.